Hi, I'm Mr. Simons and in this video we're going to continue our discussion about exchange rates. And remember exchange rates are just the value of one country's currency in terms of another. What we're going to look at today is another way of looking at Australia's exchange rate. So rather than looking at the Australian dollar versus the US dollar or the Australian dollar versus the Japanese yen, what we're going to look at is the Australian dollar against a bunch of important currencies to Australia. And this concept is known as the Trade Weighted Index. So let's not wait any longer. Let's get started. Okay, so here we are, we're looking at the Trade Weighted Index. So, so the point we're thinking about here is that there is not one single exchange rate for Australia. That in fact, Australia as a country has many exchange rates because what we are doing is we are constantly comparing the Australian dollar to a bunch of other currencies. So we're not just saying, okay, the only thing we need to know about is the Australian dollar versus the US. That's not true. We also need to know the Australian dollar against against all sorts of other currencies because Australia does business, Australians travel with a whole bunch of different countries and that might require changing our Australian dollars into other currencies. So what we can do is we can think about the Australian dollar in terms of bilateral or cross rates. Bilateral agreements is just two cross one against another. So an example of this is just the Australian dollar versus the US. And I've covered this in a previous video and you can uh, click the little icon above there to go and check that out if you would like. What we're going to do in this video though is we're going to look at what we do in terms of comparing the Australian dollar to a bunch of different currencies. Comparing the Australian dollar in fact to the most important countries for Australia. That's a really important point to keep in mind. And that what we call this is the Trade Weighted Index or TWI. I don't mind calling it the TWI, that's fine. As previously discussed, I don't like the TOT. TOT for terms of trade, I don't like that. TWI, that is fine. So what I'm thinking here is that the TWI, this Trade Weighted Index, what it does is it gives a much better overall picture of the value of the Australian dollar. And the reason that it does that is because rather than just comparing the Australian dollar versus one currency, it compares it against many currencies. So what happens is that the TWI measures the Australian dollar against a basket of currencies that we trade with. Now it's not an actual literal basket, if we're thinking about a basket, all we're saying is a group, right? So if we've got this idea of a basket, uh, that's my idea of a basket. What we're doing is we are putting a whole bunch of currencies into here and that that is our trade weighted index because we're comparing this basket versus the value of the Australian dollar. So that is the basket. It's just another word for a group. And what's important to note is that each currency in the basket isn't equally as important. What we do is we do this, is that we weight every country, we give it a, a relative importance based on how much trade we do with it. So this gives us the trade weighted part of the TWI. So we are weighting the currencies in this basket based on their importance. Okay, this might all be a bit tricky, so let's show you what this actually looks like. You can see here that the, the title of this is the weights in the trade weighted index or TWI. And this here comes from the Reserve Bank of Australia and I'll put a link in the description to it. Um, and that this might have changed by the time you are watching this video, but the principles are still the same. In, in the TWI, each currency has a different weighting or importance. So the most important currency to Australia would have the largest weighting 
in the trade weighted index. So you can see here that the most heavily weighted currency in the TWI is the Chinese currency, the Chinese renminbi. And you can see that that kind of makes sense because that China is Australia's number one trading partner at the time that this video is being recorded. The Chinese currency has a 26% weighting in the trade weighted index. And you can see how important Chinese trade is because the next most important currency is the US dollar. And that is weighted at, what do we say, around 11.5% of the trade weight index. And then you can see it kind of goes down in importance that we've got the Japanese yen at 10.4%, uh, the euro, the South Korean currency, the UK pound, New Zealand dollar, Singapore dollar, Thai baht, and so on. But what you can see is that rather than saying, okay, I'm looking at the Australian dollar versus the US dollar, what I'm looking at is the Australian dollar versus all of these currencies. That is the point of the trade weighted index. So if we're thinking about what does this show us, what is this table showing us? Let's choose red. So what we're saying is in terms of the TWI, the significance of exchange rates with exchange rates exchange rates with the US and Japan have declined over time. Now you can't see that from this table, just take my word for it. But the exchange rate with China has become more important. So here, in terms of the language that we use, if the TWI improves, uh, the Australian dollar is stronger against the currencies of our major trading partners. In contrast, if the TWI deteriorates, deteriorates, if the TWI deteriorates, then the Australian dollar is weaker against the currencies of our major trading partners. So that's just an important part of language. So what we might do is we might just get our purple highlighter and we're looking at, okay, if the TWI improves, then the Australian dollar is stronger against the currencies of our trading partners. But if the TWI deteriorates, purple and red doesn't really work well together. If the TWI, if the TWI deteriorates, then the Australian dollar is weaker against the value of our major trading partners. Sorry, against the currencies of our major trading partners. So let's now go into a little bit of detail about what the TWI actually tells us. Okay, so our focus here is on this question. Why is the TWI a better measure than the US a dollar? <laughs> Why is the TWI a better measure of the Australian dollar than the US Australian dollar exchange rate? And we're not just talking about this exchange rate in particular. We're saying, why is the TWI a better measure of the Australian dollar than any bilateral rate, the Australian dollar versus one other country's currency? And what we would firstly say to that question, obviously, is good question. So what we're looking at here a little bit more seriously is that the US Australian dollar rate, so that bilateral rate, it only shows the strength of the Australian dollar against one country. Only shows the strength of the Australian dollar against one country, whether that's America or Japan or China. And then what we can say is that actually, the TWI is a more accurate and important measure of the Australian dollar's purchasing power. So the strength of the Australian dollar compared to other currencies, because rather than looking at just one country, it looks at our most important countries, the countries that we do trade with. So if we're looking at it in a little bit more detail, what we can say here is that the TWI provides a broader measure of the Australian dollar's strength. And when we talk about strength, the economic term we use is purchasing power. And it's able to do this because it is trade weighted. 
It is all about the strength of the Australian dollar against our most important trading partners. So the idea is that we are actually comparing the Australian dollar to currencies that we need, that we use, that we receive. So it's showing us the strength of the Australian dollar compared to the countries we sell exports to and the ones that we buy imports from. So the idea here is that if the TWI improves, and remember that language, the Australian dollar is stronger compared to its major trading partners. So it's showing us that the Australian dollar can buy more in terms of the currencies that are actually important to Australia. Let's write that down. So what I'm saying is that the TWI is so important because it only includes the most important foreign exchange, that's what Forex stands for, foreign exchange or foreign currency for Australia. So it's much more useful for us because let's say that the Australian dollar is much stronger against the Zimbabwe currency. That doesn't really matter because we don't do a lot as a country with Zimbabwe. What's more important is, are we stronger or weaker against those countries that we do trade with, that we have relationships with? So what the TWI is, it's not necessarily a better measure, but what it is, is it's a much broader measure. It's much more useful in terms of looking at the strength of the Australian dollar because it's against currencies that are actually important to us as a country. Okay, thanks very much for watching. From here, it might be useful to look at how do you draw an appreciation, depreciation of the Australian dollar, or even go back to what are exchange rates, if you haven't seen that one yet. All right, thanks for your time in watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.